Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Hello Dave with Down to Earth Astronomy. Again, here's your Christmas or Christmas holiday special um, version of Hello Dave. Um, so, as always, we're going to go over what's happened both in Leet but also on the channel. And again, this is going to be uh, be a little different because at the end, I also want to go over what's happened in more broader terms of the channel, how it's evolved over the last year. Um, so yeah, there's that, and also talking about live streams in here in the Christmas vacation, how that's going to work. But before we go into uh, to the news from uh, Elite, I just want to wish all of you a, a Merry Christmas. I hope you had a lovely, lovely Christmas with your family and close ones. So uh, let's move into Elite. Um, of course, Type 10, as many of you know, will, was uh, of course released. And it, to many people, it was a... Um, many people was quite disappointed in it. Um, and... I was initially as well. I am still working on mine to try and see if I can figure out where I feel this, this ship fits in. I mean, it has potential to do a lot of different roles quite well. But so far, it always seems like it's sure it's a good all-round ship, but there's always something else that's better. Um, so I don't know where it really fits. I have spotted a few things that I think a lot of people have spotted yet. Um about the ship that makes it quite well at certain tasks. Um, but I'm thinking of doing something um, where we're going to go into a little bit more details with the ship and see where this actually fits in in uh, amongst the, the larger ships in the game, what it's going to be good for. But that's all something that's going to come, hopefully, sometime uh, in the new year. I don't know when. I'll have to wait and see when, uh, when I get around to doing that. Um, other news from Elite, um, more stations have of course been attacked down in the Pleiades sector. The stations that were already attacked have now gone into repair. So it seems like this is going to be some kind of continuous kind of event where new stations are going to be attacked, I'm going to try to repair them, and then that's going to go over and over again, which is absolutely great because that means that we can use these... Uh, um, we use these to, to kind of have a... hopefully have a kind of, kind of influence on the whole... Thing, uh, what I would like to see if we could in the future would maybe be able to try and avoid these attacks so we somehow could take part in that fight for the station um, so it does not get completely destroyed every single time but we'll have to wait and see how uh, how that all plays out from uh, uh, from Frontier um, yeah quickly uh, again I want to keep this quick this week um, quickly on live streams this week um, I as I said last week I'm not really sure when still I'm not I have a few plans here in the Christmas vacation Christmas holiday so when live streams are gonna be I'm not sure but we uh, it will be something I'm gonna announce it probably half an hour beforehand on discord and that's about it um, so if you want to know when the live streams are coming I suggest you if you're not subscribed already, remember to subscribe. You should get a notification. Otherwise, clicking that small bell icon should give you a notification every time, every, every time anything happens on the channel. Um, but also, if you join Discord, I'll make sure to announce it over there beforehand. And uh, what the stream's going to be about, no idea. It's pretty much going to be a very casual thing If they, when I'm going to do live streams this week. Um, whenever I feel like it, if I have something interesting to uh, to stream, then I'm going to turn on the stream and you guys can watch. And we're just going to have a, a casual, um, casual live stream. So, I want to look at, uh, I've been looking up some of the statistics for the channel and how it has evolved over uh, over the last year. And it was actually quite amazing. I am absolutely blown away when I was looking back, looking at where the channel was at the beginning of the year. Um, on the 1st of January, 2017, so a year ago now, the channel had 344 subscribers. And had just passed 64,000 views. Fast forward for today, and the channel is very quickly approaching 12,000 subscribers and just passed 1.2 million views. That's absolutely amazing. I <laughs> that's been growing way, way quicker than I have have ever anticipated, and uh, frankly, it makes me very excited for what's gonna happen in 2018. Um, because if we're going to see the same rate of growth, if we can just keep the current growth, it means we're going to have se several milestones we're going to pass 
uh, next year. So very much looking forward to that. Um, the community that, of course, was also started this year that they're running, that's been running off Discord. Um, we just passed a thousand people who joined that Discord server. I know not everybody's going to be active, but we still have normally around 100 people active, at least online on the server, and several people uh, would often be active on voice chat and in the, in the text channel. So it's, it's grown and it's become a very, very active community. Um, and I'm happy to see the community grow. We've also grown into much more than just an Elite Dangerous community. It's been becoming more and more of a of a casual gaming community that's been playing a lot of World of Warships lately. A lot of people have got into that, Rocket League. Um, it, it changes over the years, what, what we, over the year, what we've been playing. But in general, it's it's become more and more than just a, a general gaming community rather than being an Elite Dangerous focused uh, community only. Um, lots of friendly people. So uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I'm i so blown away how, how quickly that has grown as well. And of course, I want to say a huge thank you to all the people in the community and you guys know who you are you the people who are always active always on voice chat always talking in the checks channels and keeping the community live and active and people are very helpful i am always happy to see when people when new people come in and ask questions um that they're always someone who's ready to uh, to answer or to link videos or to yeah basically just help people out and that, that's really the, the way i want to try and make this community move towards a community where people can come in they can ask questions they can be held uh, towards whatever goal they're trying to reach in whatever game they're trying to reach or just trying to play but i also need to say a very very special thanks to the people who support me on patreon much of this would not have been possible without uh, without the support I get from Patreon. And um, for those of you who are fairly new to the channel, I, of course, as you can imagine, have a Patreon page. And the way I use it is all money, that is every single dollar raised through Patreon, goes directly towards stuff that somehow um, improves the quality or the live streams or whatever recruit improves the quality that e of the videos you watch so as an example that could be i get better editing software so i can get um a larger degree of freedom to do what i want make better effects in uh, in the live streams that could be getting better lighting setup which is something i've been working a lot on this year better better cameras microphones so that you get better audio quality or image quality on the webcam stuff like that that's the stuff that that Patreon money goes towards. The stuff that impacts the quality of the videos very, very directly. Um, whereas the ad money from uh, running ads on my uh, videos, of course, go towards the stuff that improves, uh, that helps me in making the videos. That would be if I need a new chair, if I need a better monitor or some kind of special whatever equipment that I, uh, that I want then I would use that money for those. And I'm keeping this very, very separate, two separate accounts, and they're being running completely in parallel, so there's no overlap between the two. So sometimes I would take ad money and use that together with the Patreon money to buy something that would improve the quality of the videos if the Patreon money does not fully cover it. But I've said this from the beginning, and I'm going to keep doing it like that, um, that all Patreon money will always go towards uh, improving quality and, uh, and the viewing pleasure for you guys. Of course, if you feel like you have a point in some of the videos where I feel there's something that's lacking, if you have ideas to how I could improve, um, I'm always open for suggestions, especially some people over on the channel have on the community, the Discord have been very, very helpful coming and saying, hey, I've noticed your colors are off in that video. Did you notice that? Or your webcam was a bit laggy in that video. Uh, <laughs> Uh, stuff like that so so uh, uh, that's very helpful and i really like when people come and tell me this stuff because in, in many cases i do I, I did notice it but sometimes i'll notice it after i upload it and i'll just go no nah, okay i'll just upload it and then release it or sometimes i'll first discover it when people actually uh, actually tells me um but yeah it's stuff like that that i uh, uh that i like by having a, a community like this that people can can also point out when I'm doing things wrong um, and getting that, that help and that feedback and also just to have someone to bounce ideas off, which is something I've done before. If I have like an idea for a video and I don't really know how to how to angle it right or is it a good idea? Should we, should we even do it at all? 
it's always nice to have some people to bounce the idea of saying, what do you guys think? Would, would people be interested in this? Do you think? What do you guys? Th that kind of thing. Um, also to give people a chance to influence the channel a little bit more in which direction it goes and come to suggestions. I mean, many of the videos that, uh, that I've done uh, this year has been suggested by people on Discord and even been researched by people on Discord. I mean, there's been cases where people come and said, hey, I found this neat thing. And would you be interested in doing a video about it? Okay, sure. Um, and we'll do the research and uh, figure out how we're going to frame the video and then put it out. Um, so that also a great way for if people want to, to help and push the channel forward. So that was a lot of rambling about, uh, about uh, Discord and Patreon and this year. But again, on the channel, it's been an absolutely amazing year and I'm really much looking forward to see where this all goes in, uh, um, in the next year. So um, this is gonna be yeah, the last Hello Dave of 2017. I um, I'll see all you guys in, uh, in the New Year's. Take care out there and um, until next time, I'll see you guys in space.